Another uh, wonderful book you've written is It's Ramadan, Curious George. And so I think, of course, the first question that always comes to mind is, how do you get to write a book about Curious George? How does that happen? So I was very lucky um, that the, the publishers of the Curious George books that are being put out today, um, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, approached me uh, and asked if I would be interested in writing a book about Ramadan. Actually, even before that, they asked what I thought about the idea of a book about Ramadan featuring Curious George. And they mentioned that it was part of a series in which George celebrated other holidays like Christmas and Hanukkah and St. Patrick's Day and Halloween, so it was pretty broad. And they said, we think it's high time that he celebrate Ramadan, and what do you think about that, and, and how do you think people would react? And, and I was so excited about the possibility, and that little kid in me, you know, was, who grew up reading Curious George and read Curious George to my kids, I was thrilled. Uh, and I couldn't imagine that anybody else wouldn't be, you know, everyone else would be thrilled, um, anything but thrilled. And, and so that's, that's how it came about. Um, and we talked a little bit about you know, how to approach it. And you know, my, one of my questions is, is George, is he a Muslim? <laughs> like, how does this work? And, and they said, how about he has friends who are, who are Muslim and he observes the traditions with them. And, and that's the way I wrote it. So um, it was a fantastic experience and really so meaningful to have a character like him be inclusive in that way. Um, and I just saw the outpouring of, of love for the book and, and the reaction to it was so overwhelming because people felt so moved that, that this book existed. Um, people my age, you know, with, with their own children and um, who, who just said, this is, this is a thing, you know, and, and that, the, the reactions were, were wonderful to see. And um, I think it took all of us by surprise. We knew it would be welcomed, but we didn't realize how how much it would mean to people. And it's been very successful. It's done very well in terms of the printings, right? Yes, as far as I know, it's, it's, I think within the first few weeks they were in their third printing. So it, it, really, it really was exciting you know, to see how much people reacted to this. And not just the, the American Muslim community, but really everybody was, was responding to it in a very positive way, thinking it was a good step towards inclusion, a good teaching tool. Um, and for me, it was just exciting that, you know, to think, okay, well, if, if Curious George, a character who everyone knows and loves, is you know, being respectful towards Muslim traditions and has Muslim friends, then maybe it'll you know, make, make a little bit of a difference and encourage other people to do the same. And it's a beautiful um, board book format um, so that you sort of have these different um, tabs that are open so it's very accessible for kids and, and, and we'll read a little bit from this a little bit later but um, I think it, it it also speaks to the um, the success it's another success stories for publishers themselves to look at and say look at the demand the hunger there is for this how did your own kids react when they found out you were writing a curious george oh, book they, loved it. they were so excited I bet. and they're they're my biggest fans so they're always super supportive of everything i'm sure